Hey everybody, it's Chris from Tipton and Hearst, and it's time for another happy. There's like a bad penny, we just keep popping up every time. So anyway, hopefully y'all had a good weekend. I had a, uh, it was an okay weekend. Woke up yesterday morning, no cable, no internet. But by the end of the day, I kind of liked it because I didn't get to hear about any bad news. So anyway, we're gonna make some orchid arrangements today. So what we'll do first, this is a really cool container we have in, so I stuff in it. It's made of mango wood. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna cut a piece of foam to put in the bottom of it. And this will help build up our plants. It's also gonna give me a structure because I'm gonna insert some stems into it to put around, so it'll hold those stems in place better, of course, too. So what we'll do next is I'm gonna take a little bit of this Asian honeysuckle vine from Knute Nelson. Oh, sorry about that door. I don't know why that door keeps falling off when we're doing this. I think it's there. a sensor, yeah. Yeah, it's for me. Okay. So we're going to make a small collar here. So now we'll go back and we'll start working with our orchid plant. Oh, that's just about right. So then we'll put that one there. And we're going to take this one. Let's see. We're going to put that one. So when we look at it, we want to make sure that the structure of the orchids are filling up space up here, meaning all these blooms are going different ways. So now we'll go back and take some of our curly willow. And see how I can just insert that directly into there. That. So I'm not really going into the plant like we've done before. I'm actually inserting this into the star flow. So, how's everybody doing? Everybody's good. Of course, Miss Peggy is on from McCroy. Hey, Miss Peggy. Hey, Miss Peggy, I made banana pudding the other day. Thought of you when I was making it. Could not get that meringue to whip up. No matter. What's the deal? When you put the sugar in the meringue, does that when it, mine deflated, so I'm doing something wrong, so you need to share that with me. I used to watch my grandmother make it all the time, and I really didn't pay, I guess I didn't pay good attention when she was doing it. But my meringue kind of went plonk, plonk, plonk. But it still tasted pretty good. So, so there's that. And now I'm gonna take just a little bit of this vine. And I'm going to wrap this around this. We have Beth from Two Chicks Florist in Newport. Hey, Beth. I have been by your store, actually. I came by to visit you when I was president of the association. You actually had a snack. You had just left making a delivery. And I went to the, the, is there a real estate person right beside your store, I believe, or something? And I went next door to let them know that I was leaving the card. And lo and behold, there was a water moccasin on the sidewalk. Oh, I do remember that. <laughs> <laughs> Took me back to the days of living in Woodruff County for sure. So anyway, so thanks for watching. We have people from Florida, Georgia, Conway. Yeah, Newport, people said they already yeah. love this arrangement. Yeah, Newport used to be the, the, the big town from McCrory. That's where you got to go. Actually, that's the first place I ever had pizza. It's a pizza hut. We had pizza hut in McCrory. We only had one stoplight. So now I'm going to go back and add just this really cool. And what you probably want to do if we had more time, if we were making this for delivery, we would fill this in space in with some, some of our um, plastic just to fill this, hold this better in place. But for time, I'm not going to worry about it too much. Now we're going to take this cool, it's colored uh, ranger moss. And this comes from Superflora. And I thought we'd put that in here. And that's going to help pull more of that color from the orchid down from the top. And it also, this helps cover all of our mechanics as well, all the fair pods. Miss Jane said to use marshmallow cream in your meringue. Marshmallow cream, okay. I'll try that next time. Of course, we're, we're all, I think we're all blessed thinking that our, our grandmothers were the best cooks ever, but my grandmother really was the best cook ever. <laughs> anyway, so that's just to give you a little bit of different version of that, and we'll go ahead and take these out. I guess we'll be able to take those. Hold 
filters off. I'm gonna lay, leave the stakes on there just for more stability. I realized the other day when we were working with them and we took those stakes out that they really didn't hold, the stems are really flimsy. But hopefully by putting this vine there, which I'm gonna add one more piece, it kind of covers up the mechanics of those brown stems. We have lots of people saying they love the moss. Oh, cool, good. We have it in all colors. Let me get one more wire over here. I'm gonna attach that right there. So, simple, easy, and a little bit more texture. And by having that moss there, that pulls that beautiful purple color to the bottom, the magenta color. So there's that one. So, move that out of the way. Move on to our next one. So this one I thought we'd actually take a base. And I've already added a bag of rocks. You see a bag of rocks. Here we go. Not gonna pour them in there, I'm just gonna leave the bag all together. That way it doesn't make them break the base. That gives me some more stability. Because I'm probably gonna knock this one over before it's over with. So then we're gonna add a block of foam. And on this one, I've still got from here down is solid, so you can't see through it, so you can't see the mechanics of it. Someone asked if that would be a Mother's Day option. Could they call and order that oh, for their definitely, mother? Definitely, definitely. We'd love to do that for you. And we're gonna have a lot of orchids online, which they actually went up to this morning. We're still moving some things around to get it all pretty up. But anyway, so we added those on there. We'll have a great variety of orchids. We have them purple, white, yellow, um, even, a few greens. I'll be just show you a new kind of work though. So I went to lunch and my wife tells me, okay, you're the neighbor across the street and tells me honey has cut bamboo and asked if you wanted it. Why would they ask me if I wanted bamboo? Anyway, of course they know. So I went and put it in the back of the car. It was about 20 feet long. And so I drive a suburban. So I literally had 10 feet of bamboo hanging out the back. I look like the Clampets, basically, and I know all about the Clampets because I'm from the country. So anyway, I'm driving down. We used to actually do those when we went fishing and had it going out the other way, but I couldn't make it work. So we all know about fishing poles from where I'm from. So we're going to take this one. I'm going to insert that one there. And now I'm going to take this one, insert that one there. Someone asked if we can ship the orchid arrangements. Um, we could ship the plant because we get them shipped in in a box by air. But I don't know. I mean, we wouldn't be able to ship the whole thing together. You more or less have to put a lot of the components together for it. So that would be a problem. I don't think we can, but I guess we can check into it, can't we? Sure. Yeah. We'll get back to you. We hate to tell anybody no. Oh, uh, Miss Peggy has told us what to do with the meringue. Okay, well, I, I need all the help I can get. So we're gonna go that much right now. So here are the cool new orchids. And did I put liners on those? Oops, they're supposed to have a liner underneath them. So anyway, faux pas. So we're gonna put liners on these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the tension of the base. I'm going to wedge that right in there. Aren't these the coolest? So kind of a new one for us that we just got in. Don't even really know the technical name. We just call it the swirly orchid. So I'm sure the orchid girl up there just kind of cringed when I said that. I'm going to wedge that one right in to there. So I'm going to pull that one back. I'm going to twist this one to here. And you're just going to use the tension of that into there. So then we'll go back and I'm going to lay one across there. I'm going to wire one of those to here. I hope that Uta 
from Dallas is watching. They used to be, they used to have a florist in Dallas, and they grew, grew beautiful, beautiful orchids. And I can remember always being enthralled with their orchid creations. Miss Jill from St. Louis said this is going to be magnificent. Hey, Jill. Is that my Jill? That's your Jill. Hey, Jill. <laughs> <laughs> How's Avery doing? The child's growing too fast. It's making me sad. I've known this. Watch this child grow up quickly. So we're gonna put that there. And we're gonna add one more right in through there. these orchids cool and the fact that they don't grow up and they don't grow downward like a cascade orchid or a waterfall orchid. Everyone's saying that they love these orchids. It's so fun. Jill said that Avery is doing good. She loves or she's doing Zoom school and she loves seeing the grandbabies on Facebook. Uh, we all kind of keep in touch. I did Jill's wedding years and years and years and years ago. So. Anyway, so now we're going to go back and I'm going to take because I didn't get enough packages. We're just gonna take a little bit of that purple moss, ranger moss out of this one, because I didn't get an extra package. How am I doing today? Oh no, someone said that their son is an orchid grower and he just had to cut and throw away 20,000 stems of orchids. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. People are enjoying this vase as well. Isn't that fun? This vase comes from Diamond Star. Um, they grow up there. My good friend Mark Bass is the major buyer and designer for them. Comes up with the coolest stuff. I just want to show you could take an unusual container and actually use it for an orchid container. Will so, this kind of orchid last like a regular houseplant orchid? Yeah, it will. Should it be any difference at all? Let's add one more piece there. So have to use these cutters on it. You know, bamboo is one of the strongest materials out there. So, and I will wire that together. And we would wire it to the main thing we can finish. We have a few people saying that they've never met an orchid that they couldn't kill. Do you have any tips on how they could keep their orchid alive? No, I'm just buying a new one. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the way you get around that one um, I hate to say that but yeah you know the orchid uh, unfortunately or unfortunately it's become much more commercialized than it used to be so it's pretty really out there so that's why we always have to think of a new way to twist it to make ours look a little bit more unique than the other ones so anyway I hope y'all had a good day I hope y'all had a blessed day and thanks for sharing a little happy with me and we'll see you tomorrow thanks bye